Hey everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we've got episode 6 from the first season of Hannibal. Seems to me that every episode has a different killer, just about, and they solve that and find out who's, you know, to blame for that. Um, at least some of the episodes have been that way. The Chesapeake Ripper is the probably the number one killer in this show so far, and I believe that's Hannibal, but I, that's just me. Jack just found out his wife has lung cancer. She's been hiding that from him for the last four months. So uh, she's been seeing Hannibal for therapy. And Will goes to Hannibal for therapy. And I think Hannibal is trying to manipulate him and make him think he's crazy. But we'll see what happens on this one. Each one is just really, really good. And each one is a little different. So let's go. I wouldn't go in there for love nor money. Oh, why would you leave this woman in there by herself? He's just like Hannibal. He's going to wake. He's not even asleep. You know what's going to happen. <laughs> yep, that was obvious. Well, thanks to Freddie Lowndes, there's an unconfirmed story floating out there that the Chesapeake mm. Ripper's already in custody. Mm -hmm. I feel a little nervous going into these places. Why is that? <laughs> they won't let me out. Don't worry, I won't leave you here. <laughs> Not today. Ooh. Why was a nurse left alone with a prisoner in a high security Thank you. psychiatric hospital? For oh, yes, that thing you do. <laughs> You're quite the topic of conversation in the psychiatric Ooh. circle. He's Thank not you. going to be analyzed. Thank Perhaps you. he should Ooh. be. Oh, Lord. The reason you failed and kept failing to capture the Chesapeake River? So I already have Wow. Him. But he could have, he could have known the the details of the murder and just copied him, couldn't he? Oh, here he goes living this thing. That freaks me out when he does it. Oh my God! And how did he get a fork tong in the first place? <laughs> They weren't paying very much attention to the silverware stuff, I guess. Mm. Oh. oh, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. This is really messing with him. He needs to stop. As far as we know, it's been over two years since the Chesapeake Ripper killed. That's correct. When was Gideon admitted? Almost two years ago. Last, Miriam, Regina, come in. Hmm. Morning, Agent Crawford. You are in the top 10%? Top five, sir. You're going to have to stop correcting me if we're going to get along, Lass. You wrote me a letter when you qualified for the Academy. I wasn't <laughs> sure you got it. I know you never replied. Never do. So is she supposed to be like the Clarice kind of character from the movie? No remorse or guilt at all. He won't have any of the other marks. I'm assigning you to the Chesapeake Ripper Task Force. You're going to work directly under me. Wow. Ripper is methodical, meticulous. That's why he's so hard to catch. Thank you. That's true. Calculating. <laughs> I've read your notes, of course. They were more or less helpful. He's just as obnoxious on this show as he was in the movie. Never like being called the Chesapeake Ripper. I'm just going to run the psychopathic checklist here. <laughs> Inventory by the Minnesota Multiphasic. Maybe you should put a blood pressure cuff to my genitals. I find it gives a much truer gauge of reaction. <laughs> I bet it does. What effect were you hoping to have by killing them? <laughs> Hoping to have was her death. Obviously. Mission accomplished. I do not have to convince. I am the Chesapeake Ripper. I think Hannibal is the Chesapeake River. Ripper. That's Mrs. Crawford. Yeah, that's why I was in the neighborhood. She's fine. Mm. Or she tells me that she's fine, and she tells me when she's not. I'm prohibited from talking about it, Dr. Patient Confidentiality. What do you consider this? Desperate coping. Yeah, exactly. You don't think I have a right to know what's happening with my wife? You have every right to know what's happening, <laughs> not for me. Well, I'm not just going to stand outside my marriage and watch this happen. If that's what she wants too bad, she married the wrong guy for that. 
I'll offer one insight. She doesn't think she married the wrong guy. <laughs> right. I can't stop thinking about when my wife is going to die. I look at her side of the bed and I think, is she going to die there? You need a little therapy, Jack? I can't stop thinking about it, you understand? I can't stop. That's normal. Now you're going to psychoanalyze, Jack? Threading the loss of your wife. Yes. And I'm thinking about other losses, too. Jack, you can't save her. Right. She won't let you. The cancer won't let you. Couldn't if you wanted to. Who else couldn't you save? Take a look around here. Tell me what you see. Oh, Miriam. He took the liver oh. and thymus, but left the heart. He's a medical doctor, isn't he? That way he calmed the ripper. Ha! <laughs> Eating them. Psychopaths are attracted to surgical <laughs> fields. <laughs> they offer power. We never made the wound patterns for any of the Ripper's victims public. That was my question. If he's a plagiarist, the real Chesapeake Ripper is going to make sure mm -hmm. everybody so knows there's going to be another one coming. <clears throat> oh, wow. Jack. Jack. Who is this? Jack, it's Miriam. So oh, wrong. that's creepy. I was so wrong. I am telling you that the phone rang. Uh, I haven't heard her voice in two oh. years, Jack. <laughs> you going to continue to question me on this, Z? If so, maybe I should ask you to leave the room while it's still safe for you to be here. Said yourself, there's no body. Miriam Lass is dead. Maybe not. The Chesapeake Ripper is making it very clear that someone is plagiarizing his work. God, that's creepy. You might push the Ripper to kill again just to prove he isn't in a hospital for the criminally insane. Mm-hmm. And somebody will die. <laughs> He's not a handshaker. <laughs> Where I wound up being criminal justice journalism. <laughs> You ran an unconfirmed story about the Chesapeake Ripper. What I want is for you to confirm it. By association, us is that your brand of journalism is obnoxious. <laughs> ah. Is he the Chesapeake Ripper, or do you just want me to tell everybody that he is? And certain personalities are attracted to certain professions. Do you know what profession psychopaths disproportionately gravitate to? <laughs> Journalists. Oh, get out. You know what number seven is, Mr. Graham? Law enforcement. Mm, wow. Bunch of psychopaths. Bunch of psychopaths helping each other out. <laughs> One of our nurses fall in that line. <laughs> or do you prefer the Chesapeake Ripper? <laughs> this would explain why the Ripper has been silent for more than two years. Ooh, that pisses him off. Taking his glory. You didn't take any trophies when you murdered your wife and her family on Thanksgiving. Mm. You didn't put any of them on display. Why not? Crime and passion. You know how stressful the holidays can get. <laughs> what am I here to talk about? The trainee. Miriam. Ooh. Somebody. Mm. I'm curious, why are you being so forthcoming all of a sudden? Right. Well, what have I got to lose? Why didn't you put her on display? What makes you think I didn't? Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh. You're home early. Bella, uh -oh. something wrong? Uh-oh. Jack, it's Miriam. I don't know where I am. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Got a lot of usable prints. Nice detail, too. I'm seeing this now. Right. The Ripper put his head on your wife's pillow. And now somebody's sleeping in my bed. Oh, there Jesus he is. Christ. Or there she is. Was Miriam last a blonde? Yes. I pulled her oh. fingerprints from the VICAP database, Jack. Oh. And I got a match. Oh. She's dead. She wasn't here. My assessment is that instead of being here, you should be in a lecture hall boning up on good faith warrant exceptions. He can be a little dick, and he will really frustrate you. What you're proposing in your report breaks confidentiality laws. You know that. If the Chesapeake Ripper is a surgeon, we should check medical records for all of the known victims. I knew we couldn't get a warrant if we didn't have something substantial. It's one thing for a trainee to go poking around in private medical records without a warrant. Very different if the guru did it. To the Chesapeake Ripper, Dr. Gideon is going to provide us with a singular opportunity to analyze a pure sociopath. It is so rare to find one in captivity. Uh, like they're an animal. I don't think I've ever had tongue before. It was a particularly chatty lamb. <laughs> smells delicious. Don't give me ideas. Your tongue is very feisty. And as this evening has already proven, oh. it's nice to have an old friend for dinner. Ooh. Oh, they just don't know they're eating people. Oh, gross. 
I'm much more forgiving of the unorthodox than Dr. Bloom. Well, here we go again. Jack. Jack, it's Miriam. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. They're going to find her in there. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, my God. It's her. It's her arm, which we explained the fingerprints. Oh my gosh, wow. So that proves that Gideon isn't the Chesapeake Ripper. Wow. What was her name? My name is Miriam Lass, I'm with the FBI. I would show you my credentials, but I'm actually just a trainee. Never just a trainee, an agent in training. Ooh, he did kill her. His name was Jeremy Olmsted. He had two old scars on his thigh. Pathology checked with the local hospital. He had fallen out of a tree blind five years ago while bow hunting. The doctor of record was a resident surgeon, but you were on duty in the ER that night. ER doctor, I love it. <laughs> I know a couple who could be psychotic. I thought you may remember if anything was fishy with the arrow wound. I did keep detailed journals during those days. If you like, I can get them for you. Maybe you'll find something helpful. That would be great. If you don't mind. Not at all. good one so we know she got her arm cut off but we don't know if she's still alive somewhere seems to me if he would have wanted them to find her he would have scared her like the rest of them so Gideon killed his wife and family on Thanksgiving wow I guess he is trying to take credit for the Chesapeake Ripper because he's like an egomaniac kind of thing or something I don't know but anyway, uh, let's get on to the next episode and we'll see what happens. Leave your comments below. And then uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it if you do. And if you want notifications for new videos, you click that little button. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.